Hello everyone, welcome to Bonjour PU online classes. Already in the last session, we discussed about the different kinds of the contraceptive methods. In that, in the last session, especially we discussed about the chemical contraceptive methods and IUDS. In this chemical contraceptive methods, some more examples we will not discuss at the time. Now we are discussing those two examples here. That is, one is implants, one is implants. Second one is injections. Second one is injections. Subcutaneous implants. What is the meaning of the subcutaneous implants mean? Subcutaneous meaning is under the skin. We are placing these devices under the skin for the long releasing of medication. Now we can see that what is the difference we noticing between the implants and injections to the oral contraceptives is here we noticing long releasing drug whereas in the oral contraceptives it is only working short duration of time okay that is the difference now we see here subcutaneous implants example nerve plant example nerve plant if you observe it here subcutaneous implants means what here they are asking one more question what are implants definition what are implants means perfectly a device which is having hormone, we are placing these devices under the skin to release the medicines slowly to maximum time. That's what we can say it as that is nothing but as a implant. Implant means a device which is containing hormones which we are placing under the skin to release the medicines to prevent the pregnancy. Such things we can call it as a implants. While doing imp implantation, while uh, placing these implants, we need to make the cut in the cut on the arm or on the cut in the skin and we are placing. After that, for minor uh, cut, we have to do and we have to remove these implants from the body. Clear? Now, we will see that a contraceptive implants are thin, majestic size plastic rods. These are thin, majestic size plastic rods which are placed under the skin, which are placed under the skin of the arm, especially at the region of arm, we are placing this mastic sized implants to, to release the drug and to prevent the pregnancy. Clear? Now, example if you take here, that is the NAR plant. The NAR plant, it consists of six small thin capsules. Each capsule contains 38 mg of levonorgastrin. Levonorgastrin. It is a hormone. It is a hormone presented in the present 38 mg presented in each capsule of the nor plant. How many capsules are there here? That is nothing but six capsules are there. Each capsule will contain 38 mg of levonorgastrin, a hormone used in many contraceptives, many contraceptive pills. Already we used this levonorgastrel in case of the oral contraceptives that is LNG 20. But there we are using only 20 mg but we are using here 38 mg that to six small sticks we are taking here. Each one contain 38 mg but there only one tablet or one pill we are using that which uh, with that uh, we are observing there only 20 mg per tablet one tablet we are going to be taking per day but here at a time we are placing the six small sized six small majestic sized capsules in the body then these are releasing slowly drug into the body then obviously it prevents the evolution process it's looking like similar to the oral contraceptive methods. Now, we'll move to the hormonal injections. Hormonal injections. Okay, hormonal injections. Or else, uh, we, are, we are saying it as injectables. Hormonal injections means, injections means we know. Hormonal injections means the injections which contains the hormones to prevent the pregnancy. Now, we can see, these are the progesterone derivative. Progesterone derivative injections progesterone derivative injections which are given once in a three months once in a three months that release 
hormone slowly and prevents the ovulation prevents the ovulation it contains only progesterone hormone whereas in the oral contraceptives we noticed that some mini pills which are contains only progesterone and combined pills which contains progesterone plus estrogen but in this case we are noticing like a mini pills it contains only progesterone hormone and their derivatives and their derivatives which injections are given once in a 3 months that release hormone slowly and prevents the ovulation process clear now example of this one we can see here example of hormonal injection that is depo medroxy progesterone acetate depo medroxy progesterone acetate we can simply say it as a dmpa dmpa popularly brand name the sold is available in the market popularly brand name brand name depo depo povera depo povera in this brand name these uh, injections are available in the market clear the name is depo medroxy progesterone acetate which is available in the market in the name of depo povera brand the Provera brand. Clear? Now, next one, we'll move to the emergency pills. Emergency pills are morning after pills. Morning after pills. Morning after pills means nothing but uh, early, um, immediately we are wake up, we have to take these tablets. That is not the meaning of that. Morning after pills, the name of emergency pills. Other name of the emergency pills. Now, we can see here, the most common form of emergency contraceptive, uh, contraceptive kit consists of a high dose of birth control pills. High dose of birth control pills. Now, already we noticed that oral contraceptives, same oral contraceptives are presented here, but there less dose of oral contraceptives are there. Here we are using high dose of oral contraceptive pills. Okay, because to prevent the pregnancy in a short duration of time. There we are taking some time to prevent the pregnancy, but here emergency conditions only we are going to be using these contraceptives. That's what we can say it as a emergency pills. Emergency pills. Now we can see here the kit of contraceptive pregnancy within, you can see that the kit can prevent the kit can prevent, kit can prevent means, the kit means nothing but the emergency pills can prevent pregnancy within, pregnancy within 72 hours, within 72 hours after unprotected sexual intercourse, after unprotected sexual intercourse. Now we can see that one more time I will repeat it. The most common form of emergency contraceptive pill contraceptive is a kit consist of high dose of contraceptive pills it is in a kit we can say in this we are observing we are noticing so many high high dose contraceptive pills these pills are preventing the pregnancy within a 72 hours after unprotected sexual intercourse when we are going to be taking these emergency contraceptive pills mean during in the rape cases or else when we are participating in sexual contact by using barriers, sometimes barriers may breaking down. That time this can this we can use because the when the barrier is breaking, semen may release into the vagina of the female. Immediately we have to take the emergency contraceptive pills to prevent the pregnancy. Clear? Right. Now we'll move to the, the last contraceptive method that is the Permanent contraceptive methods. Already till now we discussed up to emergency contraceptive pills. These all are belonging to the temporary contraceptive methods under the artificial under the temporary contraceptive methods we discussed. Now this is the permanent contraceptive methods. Permanent contraceptive methods means in the name itself they mentioned it is one time if you done it is completely permanent. We can't recover it back. Okay, this is the permanent method because of that. When we are moved, 
moving towards this method we have to think one or two times what uh, whether we have to do or not whether we are going to be taking the surgery or not there now we'll see here under this permanent methods we are observing two uh, two methods that is the one is vasectomy second one is tubectomy vasectomy it is mainly the surgical methods which we are performing in a males which we are performing in a males especially in the males okay how we are going to be performing this uh, vasectomy means what we are going to be doing is here we know very well the structure of the male reproductive system in the male reproductive system we are noticing for example if you take here this is the male reproductive system we are observing in this male reproductive system okay male reproductive system these are the vas differences for example if you observe it these are the vas differences what we are going to be doing is here we are going to be cut the vas differences both the sides and after that this gap should be this gap should be 1 to 4 cm must we have to maintain the gap between the one end to another end 1 to 4 cm must and should be we need to maintain the gap now we can see here these after cutting we are going to be tying back with the help of the threads here also these tubes we are going to be tying back here also we are tying back this uh, tubes with the by using the threads okay to prevent the entry of sperms from the testis to urethra of the male reproductive system when it is not entering into the urethra it's not entering uh, it is uh, not possible to enter into the vagina of the female if there is no way to get the pregnancy okay are you understanding one more time i'll repeat it what we are doing is here we are going to be cutting the vas differences tubes vas differences tubes both the sides and after cutting we are going to be tying these vas differences tubes and uh, permanently we are uh, preventing the pregnancy in this method clear now here we can see that the gap between the one end to another end must be 1 to 4 cm we have to maintain it otherwise they may chance to get the rejoin they may chance to get the rejoin okay fine now we'll move to the next method that is the tubectomy method similar to the vasectomy but it is uh, specially in case of the females specially in case of the females now in this method what we are going to be doing is same like a cutting of vas uh, vas differences we did here in place of vas differences we are cutting here we are cutting and tying of palopen tubes here cutting and tying of palopen tubes palopen tubes but in case in case of the vasectomy cutting and tying of vas differentia tubes to prevent the entry of sperm from the testis to urethra of the male reproductive system and finally we are preventing the fertilization process but here we are cutting and tying the palopen tubes just where we are cutting here means just beside the is uh, ampulla isthmus junction then obviously we are tying those uh, two uh, two ends and to prevent the entry of eggs from the ovary to female uh, ovary to palopen tube uh, region that is especially in the ampulla and isthmus junction region clear now we are going to be preventing this pregnancy clear okay right now you can see here nowadays nowadays it is a irreversible process but nowadays so many experiments the scientists were doing to rejoin this vas differences and rejoin this uh, palopen tubes that uh, success rate is very less for example in 100% if you take in that 20% we are noticing the success rate only 20% success rate is we are observing in case of this the procedures is reversible as cut ends can be rejoined that is possible only 
20 percent that is possible only 20 percent in 100 percent clear right now this is about the complete story of uh, chemical contraceptive methods till uh, till that we are discussing complete history of the all types of the contraceptive methods in this one point i forget it while discussing the spermicides the spermicidal creams and foams or jellies whatever we are using that we are using along with the iud's like we are using cervical caps holds diaphragms with and uh, even barrier methods we are using the condoms while uh, using the condoms or anything for example if you take here this is a male condom if you take male condom okay while using this male condom upside of this male condom top of this male condom we are applying some spermicidal cream spermicidal cream okay why because we are applying some spermicidal cream here spermicidal cidal cream why we are applying spermicidal cream is here to increase the effectiveness of this barrier method in case of breaking down takes place this barrier then also this cream having an ability to kill the spokes that's what we are applying some of the spermicidal creams surrounding of this barriers clear okay up to this we are discussing clearly about the all kinds of contraceptive measures now this is also one of the contraceptive methods we are uh, uh, discussing that is mtp it is a very important question for the two months very important question for two months many times they asked in the board exams okay even it is important for the entrance very small concept and very interesting concept even right now we'll move to the mtps what is mtp where it is important what are the advantages and disadvantages of this mtp we'll discuss now first of all we can see that what is mtp means what is the the meaning of mtp is the medical termination of medical termination of pregnancy medical termination of pregnancy we can call it as a abbreviation of mtp now what is the definition of mtp is it is a intentional voluntary termination intentional voluntary termination means nobody can force you to remove the pregnancy our you, you are going to remove the pregnancy you are with your interest with your intention voluntarily going into the hospital to terminate the to remove the pregnancy such removal of pregnancies we can call it as a mtps before fetus becomes viable we are going to be removing this baby now it, uh, pregnancy now we can see that one more time repeat the definition it is a intentional or voluntary termination of pregnancy before the fetus becomes viable is called as mtp what is mean by the fetus becomes viable because before fetus becomes viable means fetus is uh, developing during in developing stage slowly it will get the different uh, parts development and obviously it will uh, capable to live at that condition before that only we are going to be removing this pregnancy that is nothing but before the second trimester that is uh, nothing but as a before uh, up to 12 weeks 12 weeks is right time for the removal of pregnancy now we can see that definition of mtp is it is a intentional or voluntary termination of pregnancy before the fetus becomes viable is called as a mtp this is the definition very important for the one more question now we can see when we are going to be doing this mtp when it is suitable to do the mtp means that is the we can say it as a safe period for mtp what is the safe period for mtp is mtp safe period up to 12 weeks up to 12 weeks that we can say it as a first trimester first trimester in pregnancy in ga pregnancy gestation period we have seen three trimester first trimester second trimester th third trimester in the nine months this is the before first trimester or up to 12 weeks is suitable time for the removal of pregnancy for the removal of pregnancy okay fine now we can see it becomes risky it becomes risky 
after the first trimester. If you remove the pregnancy after the first trimester, compulsory it becomes a risky thing. As the fetus becomes closely associated with the maternal tissues. Now we can see what is the meaning of exactly this one. The MTP if you done before 12 weeks, there is no problem. Will not get any problems for the mother and even to the baby or even to the baby. Now we can see if you remove the pregnancy during up to 12 weeks, there is no problem. Okay, but when we are removing pregnancy after first trimester, it leads to a so many complications. So many complications. Okay. Why? Because these so many complications are created after the first trimester. Mean the reason. Reason is after first trimester, the fetus closely associated or joining with the maternal, with the mother tissues, with the mother tissues. Connections will happen at that time. If you cut at the time, if you are removing this pregnancy, it takes uh, a lot of time, even though it uh, needs a skilled person and it uh, it is very complicated process finally it is a very complicated process if you uh, done the some cases sometimes maybe after 12 weeks also doctor may remove the pregnancy in that case they need to take the permission from at least from the two doctors they need to take the permission but here before 12, uh, up to 12 weeks means we can take permission from one doctor is enough okay fine now we can see MTP is performed in a year accounts 20% 20% of total number of pregnancies in the worldwide worldwide pregnancies how many is there in that minimum 20% pregnancies we are removing per year with the help of the MTP with the help of the MTP now we can see this is the legal way we are removing 20% illegal way more than 20% are there that is in the second uh, second thing but now we'll move to the next one that is it is yet to be debatable in many countries whether to accept it or legalize not now you can see it is a debatable point so many members are now in still in confusion whether to accept it or not because why because they are not accepting till now why it is in a debatable point means the reason due to due to emotional ethical religious and social issues are involved in it social issues are involved in it we can see why the peoples are thinking this much about this program to legalize the reason it is related to the emotions because if you remove the pregnancy then mother emotions will hurt and even family members emotions will hurt that's what they are thinking one thing and ethical ethically we are not going to be killing the baby we don't have the rights to kill the baby if you think in the way of ethical and next one religious religious means in some caste they are not allowing they are not allowing they were thinking god said that don't remove the pregnancies like that in that caste, if you remove the pregnancy, their religious beliefs we are going to be spoiling. Okay, that is also another thing. Next, finally, it may disturb in the social way. It may disturb in the social way. After removing, their emotions will going to be hurt and their behaviors are going to be changes. And finally, their behavior changes towards the other persons also. They may get the mental depressions and all. Okay, final. This is the thing. Next one. In India, the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act, which was passed by the Parliament in, in the year of 1971. In the year of 1971, it is the very important question for one mark, even for the entrance. Even for the entrance, it is very important. But it came into the force. It came into the force on April 1st. 1972 on April 1st 1972 it is also very important question for the one mark as well as for the entrance okay 
with some restrictions and with some restrictions. India legalized the MTP in a year of 1971 and came into the force in the year of 1972 with some restrictions such as what kind of restrictions India is given while legalizing this MTP is to avoid its misuses strict conditions are important to check the discrimination between males and females to control the discrimination and misuses of these MTPs that is one rule they given and also illegal female forticides which are reported high in India to preventing or to avoid the illegal female feticides and also to avoid the discrimination between the males and females. This is the one restriction given by the India. Now, now we can go to the merits. We will discuss the merits. What are the advantages of this MTP? We will discuss now. Now we can see that MTP is useful in some cases where continuation of pregnancy where continuation of pregnancy may be harmful or fatal. Fatal means death. May cause the death to either to mother, either mother or fetus. Mother or fetus. What is the meaning of this uh, line is? Very simply, the mother is giving continuously, mother is getting continuously pregnancies. For example, this year mother is given birth to one baby. And next year one more baby, next year one more baby, next year one more baby. Like that continuously if the mother is getting pregnancies at that time, maybe it is harmful or fatal to the either to mother or baby. Okay, because of nutritional imbalance, because of uh, over uh, working of the organs or anything. Because of any uh, so several reasons, the mother or fetus may die in this case because of continuation of pregnancy. Now the next one, second point, this is mostly done to get rid, rid means to get out of unwanted pregnancies, unwanted pregnancies due to rape and contraceptive failure. During in participation of sexual contact, sometimes I told you that breaking down of the contraceptives will take place at that time it is using and also during in the rape cases and we will get the unwanted pregnancies because of rape cases and contraceptive failures mainly to get rid from these pregnancies we need the MTPs compulsory clear now the next one third point under this act under this act which is given by the India MTP act Termination of pregnancy can be done up to 20 weeks even. Up to 20 weeks even. I told you that MTP can perform after the 12 weeks also. But we need to take permission here minimum from the two doctors. If pregnancy is likely to produce a, if pregnancy is likely to produce a congenital malformed child likely cause harm to the mother. Why we are going to be removing after 12 months also when it is, uh, what, uh, what is the need to remove the pregnancy after uh, 12 weeks mean the reason only in certain conditions when congenital malformed child is forming in the mother uh, home at that time maybe mother will get the arm, mother will get arm or else mother will get the fatal at that condition compulsory we need to remove that malformed baby from the mother. That is the what we need. We are uh, even we are performing this uh, MTP after 20 means after 12 weeks. That is up to 20 weeks we can do. Correct. Now the next one demerits. What are the demerits we are noticing in the MTP? Demerits is it is misused. It is misused to abort female. Fetus misused to abort the female fetus. You know very well about this. 
Nowadays, it is the high in the India. Already explained illegal female feticides, which are reported high in India, because the reason is here we are uh, here uh, the doctors are using aminosynthesis. Aminosynthesis, aminosynthesis method or technique identify to identify the to determine the sex by after determination of sex if the baby is female so many people sir don't want the female child that's what they are doing the female feticides female feticides clear the merits it is misused to abort the female fetus okay we are killing the female fetus most of the cases that's what it is misused one thing next one MTP must be carried out by qualified doctors. Must be carried out by qualified doctors. It must be done by the qualified doctors. But disturbing fact, disturbing fact is that most of the MTPs are performed by quacks or unqualified doctors. Unqualified doctors, which is illegal which is illegal why this happens because of money because of money anything is possible in india most of the cases if money is there in your pocket that is the same thing here for example by their uh, because of their entertainment because of their uh, happiness if uh, before marriage also so many people are participating in the sexual contact because of that they will get the unwanted pregnancies those pregnancies they will remove by illegal. How they are removing illegally? They are paying money to the some unqualified doctors. They are also doing the surgery to remove the pregnancies. Clear? This is the about the complete story of MTPs. Clear? Okay, fine. The next class will discuss about the amniocentesis. How we are going to be performing? Where it is useful, merits and demerits we will discuss clearly. Later on we will move for the sexual transmitted diseases and finally we will discuss infertility. Clear?